Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the Redstone Handbook episode 4, a series of videos designed to teach you the fundamentals of redstone so you can start to create your own designs and understand how other people's designs work. In this video guys, we are going to be going over gates. Oh, not those kind of gates. No guys, I am talking about the basic redstone logic gate circuits. These include the NOT gate, the AND gate, the OR gate, and the XOR gate. These all sound a little complicated, but trust me, it really isn't. Gates will turn on when a certain combination of events has happened. For example, only emit a signal when two switches have been switched on. First up guys, damn it. First up guys, it is the NOT gate, also known as an inverter. This is a simple gate to emit the opposite from the input. So if the switch is on, the output will be off. Or if the switch is off, the output will be on. All you need to do is place a redstone torch on the back of a block that you are powering and you will get the opposite to what you are inputting. Now onto the AND gate. In order for the AND gate's output to be on, both switches must be switched on, otherwise it will remain off. This is a simple circuit that if either of these torches on, this redstone dust will remain on and this redstone torch will turn off. However, if we turn one off, nothing will happen because the redstone is still being powered by this torch. But if we turn this one off also, then this torch can turn on and will turn the output on. The NAND gate is just the opposite. The output will remain on until both switches are turned on. This is created much the same except instead of a redstone torch, we just have redstone running down here. So if one of these are on, the output's going to be on. So we need to turn them both off before we get it turned off. OR gates are really simple. An OR gate simply means that any of the inputs can be on and the output will be on regardless of what the other one is doing. So if either of these levers are turned on, we will have an output. And if both of them are turned on, we will also have an output. An OR gate circuit is very simple. You just run redstone out of the two blocks and if either of them are on, it will power that. NOR gates are again the opposite. Whenever at least one of the switches is on, then the output will be off. This is simply made by sticking two inputs onto the same block and having the redstone output here of a redstone torch. When you turn one on, it turns that off. And finally guys, the XOR gate. The XOR gate uses two inputs. The output will only be on if one switch is on and the other is off. So if both the switches are off, the output will be off, and if both of the switches are on, the output will also be off. They have to be opposites. The XNOR gate, you guessed it, is the opposite. Both switches need to be in the same position, either both off or both on, to get the output to be on. As you can see, they're both off right now. If I turn one on, the output will be off, but if they're both off, the output will be on again. Alright guys, well, I hope you learned a little something about gates in this episode. Ah, oh, damn it, not these gates. Who wrote the script? It's terrible. On the next episode, we will be going over redstone clocks, so check out the other episodes of the Redstone Handbook in the description, smack that like button for me, and I will see you guys in the next episode.